Hello, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at lovable.dev. This is a truly no-code AI web application builder. It, it pretty much codes stuff, it, it builds in the backend, and I think it's been really, really fun to mess around with as somebody who doesn't know how to code, but I definitely have too many ideas, and I've been kind of running wild with this, just messing around with it. So today, I'm gonna to make a video just kinda of showing you how it works a little bit and a little bit about it if you are interested in checking it out. You do get five free messages on it every single day, but if you do want to get more into it, I'll leave a link in the description uh, where you can purchase a plan and it's an affiliate link that will help support the channel at no extra cost to you and I'd greatly appreciate it. But let's go ahead and mess around with this. So as you can see, it's idea to app in seconds. Lovable is your superhuman full stack engineer. Now that's the interesting part about this is that it's actually integrated with Superbase, which I'm not a really technical person, but uh and this isn't going to be a super technical video by any means this is more for your average person or person just looking to get into uh making some stuff with this because it's really cool and anybody can use it um but basically you have a database already built in that's integrated with lovable so you get an entire back end and not just like a pretty looking front end a website or whatever you want to build but you can actually get a functional database with user authentication so people can log in sign up and all that sort of thing um, it also connects directly with github um, which basically means that all your code is going to go stored in github um, where you can download it edit it uh, and see it um, and all that sort of stuff so on the home page it does suggest like you know some ideas to get you started here but i don't recommend uh, clicking those um, unless you just want to mess with that. But if we scroll down, you get some latest, which is usually just a bunch of stuff people are pumping out. Um, but if you go down here, you get a few more details about it, uh, who it's for, um, the fact you can build high quality software without writing code. Now, a lot of the coders that I've seen online, you know, the, you know, true professionals, uh, understandably don't like these tools for a lot of reasons, whether it's security vulnerabilities or, you know, it's messy, co messy AI code, whatever. Um, doesn't really apply to me, in my opinion, just messing around with this as a, I guess you could say hobbyist, but I do understand their concerns. But to me, this is, this is so powerful and, and revolutionary and innovative that I, it's just kind of mind blowing. Basically, as you can tell here, it's 20 times faster than coding. They say you just prompt to edit. So if you've ever used chat GPT or something like that, you pretty much just type in normal language and it edits whatever you, or makes whatever you want it to do. Um, another good thing about this is you do own the code so it's not uh some weird thing where you don't own the code it actually does as it says here syncs to your github and then you you of course are going to have that entire uh you're going to have all your github stuff uh, all your code saved there on github so that you fully own it um, even though the ai wrote it it has live rendering it handles image input so this means you can copy and paste literally anything from anywhere and tell it to fix it or change it or copy it if you find you know a button on another website you want to copy the style up and actually screenshot it um, and then paste it right in uh, to the chat to actually prompt Lovable to do that. They also have a select and edit feature, which is really cool. Um, and I do find that it does generally make pretty good uh, UI and user experience uh, things. You can also integrate with APIs and pretty much do everything. You, you can basically build a full-fledged um, app, web app. Uh, not for This doesn't do mobile apps, this is only web apps. But you can basically, just by prompting with natural languages, anybody could do. Uh, create a functional deployable web app very, very quickly within minutes or even hours, um, depending on what you're trying to make. So enough of me talking, let's actually start prompting something. I'm going to do something a little more abstract. I already kind of thought up this idea. I actually used um, AI to give me an idea and a prompt for something related to turtles. I don't know. I just like to use the turtle theme. I've always liked turtles. So we're, we're going to basically copy this prompt I got from Grok um, and see what it does so this is the prompt it's going to be a little different we're just i'm kind of doing this to just see you know what lovable does with this off of just this so we have turtle trivia fun really don't need these emojis but i'll leave them because why not um turtle trivia fun a simple and cute turtle fact generator C create a fun and interactive web app that shares random turtle facts with users each time they click a button they'll get a new interesting turtle fact along with a cute turtle illustration or emoji i'm actually curious if it makes um, an illustration or it might just use emojis. I don't know what it's going to do, especially on this first go around. Um, this is also um, a really strange random app idea, but I just want to kind of see what it does. So uh, features to include random turtle facts, adorable turtle graphics, 
name your turtle bonus feature. I don't know. Uh, again, Grok just came up with this. I told it to give me a prompt for a web app about turtles uh, that was pretty basic, and this is what it is. So, um, you know, I, you can ask AI to come up with something like this if you want. Obviously, you can put whatever you want in here, or you can just type in something similar or something more simple like job board or whatever your idea is, obviously. So we're, let's just go ahead and click send, and it's gonna go ahead and start actually creating this code. Now, we're gonna see it actually start creating the code here on the screen before their live preview shows up whenever it's actually kind of full, fully built. But up here on the top right, you have three important buttons. First is your super base. If you click that, you can connect the project with your super base account, which you have to go create separately, um, and then log in here, and then it'll connect very easily. Um, you can have up to two free projects with Superbase before they become like uh, about ten dollars each or something. But you get two free ones, and you can pause them as well. So if you want to make, if you have two active, you can pause one and make that third one. Um, if you want to kind of put one on the back burner, um, then you also have the GitHub integration, which you just easily log in and connect that. And then it'll start making GitHub repositories for all this code it's writing. And you can see it's already writing a bunch of uh, code, which is pretty cool. You can kind of watch it in real time here initially. Um, but then you also have the publish button, which just lets you publish it um, to a lovable.dev subdomain um, initially. But you can also easily connect um, your own domain up here th through the publish button as well um, if you do want to do that. So let's go ahead and see what it says here. It's giving us, you know, I absolutely love the idea of creating a turtle trivia phone application, the concept, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but you get the gist. It's basically like a chat GPT, you know, type response here, um, where it's actually listening to what we're saying, giving us some feedback on it and what it's going to do. And then it says, let's, let's implement this beautiful turtle fact experience. And basically it's just going to take just a few minutes. It, it really doesn't take long, just a couple of minutes, depending on how much you ask should be done really any minute now. Um, but I'll go ahead and pause here and I'll be back once it's finished writing this initial code and setting up uh, basically all of our code and files that we need to get this app functional. All right, so it looks like it has finished. I can tell it's finished because the stop button down here is no longer there. Um, it does have an error and everything's showing white. We'll resolve that in a second. But first, let's go ahead and look at uh, whenever it finishes actually doing whatever it's doing. It'll give you a little bit of what it did, what you, what you could maybe do next. And I found these are often off of your first prompt. It often recommends the same stuff. Um, you can add project knowledge if you go up to project settings. Other thing I'll mention real quick, uh, go to knowledge. You can enter custom instructions that it'll always, every time you prompt or you message it, it's gonna always um, you know, take those into consideration. So that's more advanced feature, but something definitely really useful if you do wanna get into that. Now, as you can see, we do have an error. So the good thing about Lovable, it tells you there's an error, you can just click this. Um, you can see we have whatever this is. Now, honestly, I found for some reason, I don't know if it's just my browser, but if I was to refresh the page right now, this would probably work without fixing the error. Sometimes it does that if the error is not too critical, but let's go ahead and fix this error anyways, um, just see what happens. Uh, maybe it'll work. If it doesn't, I'm just gonna refresh the page. Um, I found it, it does that white screen thing a lot. And then if I refresh the page um, on the browser, it just kind of comes back up. So we're just gonna go ahead and click, try to fix the code here and it's gonna fix it. Um, now it's not perfect at fixing things and doing things. And look at this, wow. Um, I don't know if, I wouldn't call that a turtle, but it looks like it tried to make a turtle, sort of. Um, so that's interesting. It does try to make things with icons I've noticed, which is strange, but um, created with love for turtle and these everywhere. And I mean, we only have one page, so we can generate name, pokey shell shock dash shell bag. Okay, I mean, that technically works. Some sea turtles migrate over 1500 miles between feeding and nesting grounds, okay. Another fact, see if it pops up or not. Might have encountered our first bug. So yeah, it looks like it's not popping up with the new fact. Let me refresh the page and then just try it again just to make sure. Uh, but you know, this is definitely not perfect. You will run into issues, um, but it can usually, when you, when you mess around with it, you can pretty much resolve most any issues by the prompting. Um, you can also go into your code uh, into the code yourself and change it if you do have that know-how. There we go. Turtles have been around for 220 million years. I mean, this looks pretty cool. I mean, this turtle is not really that nice looking, but um, it kind of gave me what I asked for. And for a very simple web app like this, and it did all the code in just a few minutes, it's pretty cool. So let's click discover new fact. Um, looks like it's not working. So let's go ahead and say, um, 
let's just go ahead and tell it what's what's happening here so i'm gonna say when i click the discover discover do fact button it does not show up with the new fact the old one just turns white and nothing else appears fix this please now you don't have to say stuff like fix it please that's just stuff i tend to do sometimes no real reason let's just go ahead and see uh what it does here so all right so already it's seemingly said i'll help you fix the issue looking at the code because it'll actually look at your code and try to find the error of course i can see the opacity is being changed to zero during the animation so that's obviously a problem um, hopefully it's that simple so let's see if this actually fixed it. I'm not gonna refresh the page. I tend to do that every time I prompt though. That's just been a habit of mine. Okay, turtles can recognize their owners and some can even, uh, some even come when called by name, discover a new fact. And the issue seems to persist. I'm gonna refresh the page just to make sure it's not like a weird browser thing. Okay, looks like it was. So see, like I'm saying, sometimes you gotta refresh the page. Little trick there, maybe it's just my browser, I don't know. Turtles don't have teeth. Instead, they have horny ridges on their jaws to help them cut food. Okay, discover a new fact. As you can see, we already, within 12 minutes of this video, we've already, actually not even 12 minutes because the first part I was describing stuff, but we already have a turtle trivia fun fact thing uh, web app that, I mean, we could launch right now and use this. I mean, this is a cool little app. It doesn't really serve a huge purpose, but as you can, Oh, no, I thought it broke again, but no, it's still working. It just took a second to generate. Uh, some sea turtles migrate over to 1,500 miles. Okay, so I think you get the point. Now, let's go ahead and add a little bit more to this. Uh, let's say, let's add an about page. And I'm just going to give it kind of free range. This is where, with Lovable, you could be very specific on what you want to build, which I would say is usually uh, the best thing to do, especially because the way they price this is you do have so many monthly credits, uh, which basically one credit equals one message. So in my case, I currently have the, the plan that gives me 500 messages per month or 500 credits. So I can basically do 500 prompts right here uh, per month, which is quite a bit. Their starter plan starts at like $20. I'm on the $100 one, I think, something like that. Um, Cause I've just been messing around with this probably more than I need to be. So let's go ahead and give this uh, AI kind of some free range on whatever it thinks this uh, web app should have. So I'm gonna say, let's add a page, uh, let's add an about page and whatever other pages you think uh, would be cool for a website. I'm gonna say web app, web app like this. Let's just see what it does. You know, this is where I tend to waste a lot of these messages because I just like to see what it does. Um, it's just really cool. So let's just see what it does. It says I will add an about page and a turtle conservation page to enhance your turtle themed web app. Now, that's honestly what I was thinking in my own mind. I was about to tell it to add like a donate button or something because that's just where my mind was going with the turtle theme uh, for something like this. So that's actually interesting that it had the same idea that I did. So. Let's just give it a couple seconds. It'll make these pages and we'll be back. All right, it took just about a minute, a uh, minute and a half probably, and it's completed. It says I've added two new pages to enhance your turtle themed web app, an about page and a turtle con uh, conservation page. I've also created a navigation menu that appears on all pages so users can easily move between sections. The about page explains the mission of your app and why turtles are important while the conservation page provides information on conservation organizations and ways users can help protect turtles in the real world. Both pages maintain the same visual style as your existing turtle fact generator. So let's see what happens. Click about page, looks pretty good. Have a return to turtle facts, takes you back to the home page. I like that. Um, I like the color scheme. Everything looks good, easy to read. Welcome to turtle trivia fun or mystery just educate, blah, blah, blah. Turtles are amongst little fun fact here. Uh, how you can help interested in helping turtles visit our conservation page. So it actually links to it there. Let's go ahead and click this. Turtle conservation. Join the effort to protect these amazing amazing creatures. Why turtles need our help. Um, give some reasons there. Actually get some actual links with some cart. I mean, this is actually really amazing. Um, what you can do. Uh, this gives you some actionable tips. I mean, that's pretty cool for just a few minutes of messing around with the web app. I'm actually impressed. I mean, I know this is simple and, and very uh, basic kind of thing, but I think it's pretty cool. The only thing I would say it's missed on, in my opinion, is the image of the turtle here. Um, although I do like that 
at least sometimes it changes the color, I think. Let's see, it's taking a minute to come up with this one. Uh, it looks like it's bugging out a little bit, uh, but it's not too bad. Let's go ahead and refresh the page and I'm gonna I'm gonna try something. I'm just gonna see if it can I'm gonna say that, tell it that this doesn't look like a turtle. Uh, now what we're gonna do here is actually use the snipping tool. And I'm gonna actually highlight this right here. And I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna come in here, control V. And I'm actually paste it down here. I'm gonna say this does not look like a real turtle. This looks like a blob make this uh i'm just gonna call it an element appear more like a real turtle please um yeah we're just gonna we're just gonna go with that i don't know if it's gonna be a better result worse result um this is where you know once you integrate a back end and stuff you could have your own component your own images and stuff put in your own art um, and things like that. If you want to get more custom, I'm just, this is just within the AI's limitations of what it can do. I haven't connected to the super base for a backend at all for any user authentication or anything like that. Um, for this basic video, I just wanted to make something more simple like this, uh, and just see what happens. I also noticed the navigation page like moves when you go from turtle, turtle facts to the other ones, which isn't the end of the world, but minor design thing I would change personally. Um, okay, I've redesigned the turtle illustration to make it more realistic with distinct uh, features, including a proper shell with scales or scoots, a defined head, blah, blah, blah. So let's see if it actually did. Okay, so it failed. So see, you can see the l slight limitation of the AI there when it comes to actually like making a turtle. Um, but all in all, other than that, this is pretty cool. Again, if you want to check Lovable out, I'll leave a link in the description to check it out. It's an affiliate link that will help support the channel if you do end up getting a plan. But they do have five free messages per day that you can actually utilize. Um, and with five prompts, if you're if you're smart about it, you can actually create something uh, pretty unique and pretty cool really quickly, even with five prompts, just to mess around with it. Um, and then once you're ready to deploy, you can come up here, publish and click publish and then here's your connect custom domain button which uh, usually i would just like log in with godaddy and then you select the domain or you put in the domain you want to use and it just kind of automatically does it you don't have to know anything too technical um so now we've published it to turtlefactorama.lovable.app let's go ahead and click it and now we're on our actual domain and this is a fully launched uh app that has a weird looking turtle but we could actually send this link share it um, and people would be able to come on here and discover new turtle facts, check out the conservation pages um, and all this stuff. So really cool. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you want more videos like this, please leave a comment below with any questions you have or things you want me to try out. And I'd love to uh, hear what you have to say. So anyways, thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time.